Okay, so your second favorite um, look of the week from last week were these beautiful flexorod curls that I did um, that just turned out so cute. And that was actually my only my only my second time trying flexorods. And I was really excited by the way it turned out. It turned out so nice and just cute. Um, and so I'm going to show you how I got that look. I've kind of already started prepping my hair. Um, but what I used that was probably really key to making those curls so beautiful is Curls Goddess Curls Jelly. So I this is my first time using this product and I wanted to try it out. So I used it for this look and oh, those curls were so cute. So I'm going to use that and I'm also going to use these flexor rods here. And I think I used a total of seven. So I've got kind of five of these smaller ones. And then I've got two of the slightly larger ones. Okay, so I'm gonna jump right in. So what I've already done is I've already kind of twisted um, a ponytail right here. I've done like a few, well, slightly more than a few, I think I got six twists here and I just kind of put them back and that's all um, this was in the back um, for this style was just a twist a twisted ponytail um, and so I've got that kind of already in place and this section of hair up front is what I'm going to put the flexor rods in and it wasn't a very large section it was fairly small um, and so kind of what I did is I split this section Kind of in two like this and I did the smaller flexor rods up front Pull that back. so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the the curls um, and then I'm gonna do each section I think I have three sections here in the front and so I'm just gonna kind of separate Grab a little bit of the curls jelly, apply it to the section. Taking my smaller rod, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop about halfway down, and then I'm gonna twist the hair around, and then I'm gonna roll the rest of the way up. And then I just kind of wrap the rod around um, so that it's secure. And I do the same thing. Do one more. Wrap around. And then roll up. So I've got all my rods in place and I've put all of the smaller ones kind of up in the front here and then I put the, the bigger ones in the back and I've got my twisted ponytail and what I did last week is I just slept like this with my satin bonnet on of course and then took them out in the morning. So to kind of speed this up since I'm recreating this for you guys I'm probably going to pop underneath the dryer for a little bit let the curls kind of set and take hold and then I will come back and show you how they look. Stay tuned. Hey guys so it's been about three hours. Three, it's been about three hours. I didn't get under the dryer. I just decided to do some stuff around the house. And so it's been about three hours. So now I'm going to take these flexor rods out so um, I can show you guys how I styled my hair for last week's second best look. So I'm just going to unroll these bad boys. Thank you. 
You're so cute. <laughs> All right, guys, so I've taken out all of my flexor rods and I've also unraveled the twists um, from the ponytail in the back. And so here's kind of where I am and you can just see how gorgeous these little curls are. They're so cute. Um, so here are the, one, the ones um, that I use the larger rods are kind of in the back. And then the smaller rods you can see are these ones in the front that are a little tighter. And so what I did, first what I'll do is kind of take all of the hair from the ponytail. I didn't do anything special. I just kind of put it, tucked all of the hair under and pinned it with a bobby pin. Very simple. I had some people asking about the back part of this style. You know, they wanted to kind of see um, pictures of the back. And I was like, I promise you all the fun of this style is in the front with these curls. And I was totally not lying. So what I did with kind of these larger curls, I kind of separated them just a little. Um, because what I'm going to end up doing with these guys in the back and some of the smaller ones is I took them and I pulled them back. And I kind of pulled them back and I left um, some curlies in the front out. I didn't separate these much, um, just a little bit. And they're so cute. These little guys are so cute. And you can decide, you know, how much you want forward, how much you want to take and pull back you know it just it's up to you whatever and then depending on how the curls turn out like this one's is a little is going a little weird on me so i might pull that one back um i kind of like this guy over on the side and so i'm just going to pull these other curls back maybe separate them a little bit more just to give it a little bit more body up here And all I did was pin them back in no special way. And there's a couple. These curls are so cute, you guys. I love them all over again. <laughs> and this is so not typical a style for me. You guys know I'm typically very edgy, chic not you know these super cute curls but I just I love them so much they're so cute I'm not sure what I want to do with these curls off to the side they're a little longer but really you guys you just play with them until you're happy with the finished product oops until you're happy with the finished product So I think I'll pull that up. And so you've kind of got your twisted bun, your little curlies that you've pulled back here. But you've got some body and some life. And then you've got these little, these smaller curls in the front. And that's it, you guys. This is all I did to get those really cute flexor rod curls um, last week. Simple, easy, it takes a little bit more time to prep. You know, you gotta do your rods and give them some of the curls some time to set, but that's it. So these have been your top two favorite looks from last week. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Take care, bye.